Uh, next, we are going to hear from Tiffany Blake, who is the Dean of Students. Dean Blake is an alumna of the College of New Rochelle School of Arts and Sciences, class of 2003. After serving in various capacities in student services and the president's office at CNR, Tiffany was appointed Dean of Students in January of 2015. She holds a Master's of Science degree from uh, CUNY Bernard M. Baruch College, a Master's in of Education uh, in Higher Education, uh, excuse me, a Master's of Education degree in Higher Education from Teachers College, Columbia University, and is currently pursuing uh, a Doctor's of Education degree in Organizational Leadership from Northeastern uh, University. So please welcome Dean Blake. Good afternoon and thank you, Sue. So the joy of student services is that I get the opportunity to work with my colleagues <laughs> on a variety of different things um, that they've all mentioned. Um, but the overview of student services really focuses on a variety of different topics such as civic engagement, um, the mission of the college, um, civility, um, health and wellness, um, and various other topics that come up um, as our students' needs change. Um, and the goal of student services is really to support um, our students and get them engaged in their college, um, college experience. So um, student services has a variety of different areas, but I did want to just highlight four of them today. Um, my role as Dean of Students um, has really been to make sure that I do outreach to all four schools and to make as many of our opportunities um, available to students across the, uh, across the four schools. So the areas that I'll highlight today are new student orientation, student success, which our um, initiatives to keep our students here and to keep them happy in the, both their classes and outside of the classroom, as well as student activities and leadership and their residence life experience. So over the past two years, all new students at the college have gone through an orientation program that introduces them to the history of the college as well as the mission, shares what they can expect from the college during their academic journey, and what our expectations are of them both in and outside of the classroom. The program is a collaboration amongst multiple college departments, faculty and staff, as well as student leaders who help to ex execute the programs as well as to share their student experiences. Um, we've come to realize that in a world where civility and respect at times is threatened, um, that I found it really important in my role to make sure that in collaboration with my fellow deans, um, that I emphasize to new students and current students our student code of conduct and the importance of community to, our, um, to the College of New Rochelle. Um, there is a universal student handbook for all new students which highlights our college resources, our policies and procedures um, that are also, is located on the website as well as in hard copy. And we make sure to send that to all students at the start of each semester. Um, we do have instances where there might be violations of policy, um, but they're handled with due process and we see them as opportunities for students to be held accountable for their actions, but also to learn from them. So next, I believe Dean Fontura alluded to our grants that we have. Um, we do have a number of student success initiatives and the first bullet is our Directors of Student Success, which are funded by two of our grants that Dean Fontura mentioned. And that allows us to have a student services liaison per se on each campus. And that student services um, representative really is to connect the students to resources. So we have some students who may need tutoring, they may need support from counseling and health services, they may need help with their resume. Um, we make sure that we get them the resources that they need um, and they have that student services person there to connect them to whatever their um, need may be. Um, in the use of our Directors of Student Success, we also have access to a, a program that we call Starfish, which is an um, online program which allows students um, to go into the program to raise a flag if they need help with something, um, and it also allows for faculty and staff to raise flags on students who may need resources, and it goes to a particular department for that department to reach out to that student. Um, additionally, we don't want to just use it for flags, but we also use it for good things too. So if students, you know, say outperform in the classroom, they do a um, particular community service project, they may organize a program, we can al also give them kudos. So they get an email to their email account, um, you know, kind of giving them congratulations for whatever accomplishment they might have made. 
Um, we also know that students' needs are constantly changing, um, so we also um, make a proactive um, move to um, always um, improve our student life experiences. Um, so I'd just like to highlight a couple of those improvements we've made, and I hope that some of them you've seen. Um, we did do renovations to our dining hall, so you notice the logo is now um, in our dining hall. Um, we have the new seating and, and carpeting. Um, you also can notice the digital signage that is located on various campuses. So we have several here at the New Rochelle campus, but we also have some at the um, School of New Resources campuses in the city. Um, we've also improved the laundering services in the residence halls. So there's um, new um, washers and dryers in the residence halls, um, as well as we're making an active effort to really enhance our extracurricular programming for students. So, um, you know, we've always had it, and I'll go into detail on the next slide, where we take their suggestions on things to do, but we want to make sure that we're always amping them up um, to meet their needs. Um, and then just, um, I noticed in my role of being a Dean of Students for two years that it's really important to have a presence. Um, so I make sure that I have Dean of Students forums on the campuses, that I'm just available. Um, you know, I'll be on any campus at any given day, um, you know, whether it's for a meeting or just to be in their student lounge, just to kind of get a feel for what the conversations may be. Um, I'm always doing a student survey, I'm trying to get some kind of student feedback. So we know everything may not be perfect, but I always also want to make sure that we have a pulse on what um, students are asking for. And then in terms of student activities and leadership, um, I know that there was a question about athletics, so I wanted to make sure that I um, put some information about athletics in here. Um, to update you that we do um, have seven women's teams. They are cross country, basketball, swimming, soccer, softball, tennis, and volleyball. And then we have five men's teams, basketball, baseball, cross country, soccer, and swimming. And just in general, um, even outside of athletics, just general student activities, the campus is much more vibrant now. Um, you know, we have these increased numbers. Um, so I even, you know, believe there was times when we had karaoke um, before we went co-ed and we would have maybe 25 students there. Now I have over 100 students who are coming out to karaoke and they keep asking for it. And the parties are being sold out and the trips that we do on and off campus, they're all, you know, always being sold out and they're vibrant. So it's really brought a good um, sense of community to the college. Um, in general, um, we've had um, on-campus programs that um, regards to diversity, um, alcohol, drug abuse, awareness, education. Um, they have their social events, so we do do karaoke, and we have praise and worship nights and parties. Um, they do co-sponsored um, programs with faculty, and that's another way that I'm able to collaborate with the faculty um, and the deans here. Um, we also have a, a, a guest um, speakers who come in to speak on a variety of topics as well. Um, we do um, trips into the city, so we try to make use of the museums, um, you know, going to sporting events, whether it's a Knicks game or going to a Yankees game. Um, and then I do want you to know that the Student Government Association for School of Arts and Sciences and Nursing still is in existence. Um, they have about 15 clubs right now, and then we also just work with the schools to make sure that the um, other schools also have um, representation in terms of governance um, at the college, so we make sure that their voices are heard. Um, and then lastly, we do still celebrate some of our traditions like Family Weekend and Strawberry Festival. Okay, and then lastly, to come to an end are our residence halls. Um, so we do still have residence um, life that is offered for students in the School of Arts and Sciences, nursing, and we have some graduate housing. Um, there are three residence halls, which are Ursula Hall, Brescia Hall, and Angela Hall. Um, they do have staff in that building to work um, in terms of community, building community house, um, who also have the, the same amenities as their classmates in the um, re formal residence halls. Um, we have um, close to 300 residents at this time, um, of which 24% are male and 76% are female, and they reside in separate wings and floors. We have three living learning communities. Um, one is our nursing community. The second is our honors community, as well as our science and math community. And then in terms of just um, their regular accommodations, they do have the laundry facilities, which I just updated you that they've been um, given new washers and dryers. Um, they have lo um, lounges. They have Wi-Fi access. Um, their kitchens are fully um, stocked with a, um, a refrigerator, the microwave, and the stove and ovens. Um, and then they do have regular programming that, that happens for them. So we want to make sure that we're supporting whatever they're doing in the classroom. We make sure to bring that environment into the <laughs> residence halls. And I'll take the questions and we're done. Thank you. <laughs>